Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at a book haul. Slightly out of the ordinary for this channel, but as I've said before, this is Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. And of course, we have some book geeks out there, so let's get into it. Last Wednesday was my birthday, so the wife and I went to Springfield uh, to Barnes & Noble. Picked up a bunch of books. Uh, got a few that were on sale. The first of which was the autobiography of Jean-Luc Picard, the story of one of Starfleet's most inspirational captains. Edited, edited by David A. Goodman. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jean-Luc Picard is a fictional character. How can it be an autobiography? Well... There's another one similar to this uh, about Kirk. Uh, it's supposed to be in-universe, kind of. Um, so we'll leave it at that. Uh, it's pretty good so far. I'm on Chapter 2 currently. As you can see, my uh, bookmark there is actually a Cub Scout patch. And I wanted to show you some of the pictures in here. We have Jean-Luc and his brother. Jean-Luc and Wesley Crutcher's dad. Jean-Luc as a uh, young Starfleet officer. Got the crew of the Enterprise D. Jean-Luc and Mark Twain. And then Jean-Luc when he's old. And then... Got the Borg implants. Uh, Cardassians. Keeping up with the Cardassians. <laughs> and then the wedding invite for Jean-Luc and Beverly Crusher. Pretty cool. There's a look at the back. Very nice. Now... <clears throat> I picked up... Let's do this in order, because <clears throat> there's a book and two of its sequels, so. The first of which, The Three Musketeers by Alexander, Alexander Dumas. Dumas, sorry. Uh, introduction and Notes by Barbara T. Cooper. Uh, I've been wanting to read this for a while now. Uh, I, I watched the movie a long time ago, along with The Musketeer. Um... <clears throat> And I love the Man in the Iron Mask uh, movie as well. So this was, I've been, this was one of the books that we specifically went to Springfield for. Uh, I'm really glad they had it. As you can see, there's the thickness. There's the back. Very nice. And then there was another sequel to it they had there that I didn't get because I had already spent enough money. It was called the um, the Red Sphinx or something like that, Blood Sphinx, something like that. I may get that later. But I also got twenty years late after Alexander Dumas. Uh, which takes place 20 years after the events of The Three Musketeers. There's that. Uh, also got The Man in the Iron Mask. Uh, been wanting to read the novel for quite a while. As I said, I'm a big fan of the movie. Uh, so yeah, I mean... Just look at the thickness of these books. <laughs> There's the back there. Can't wait to get into them. But right now I am working on the autobiography of Jean-Luc Picard. Now, that's not all though. No. Um, I also got 
The Story of King Arthur and His Knights by Howard Pyle. Uh, I had read the graphic novel uh, a couple weeks ago. Really liked it. I've always been a big fan of King Arthur. Uh, so I picked up the story of King Arthur and his knights. Very nice. There's Caliburn in the in the stone. Uh, many people think that Excalibur was the sword in the stone. It wasn't. Uh, the original sword in the stone was actually broken. Uh it was King Arthur's first sword, and then the Lady of the Lake, his true love, uh, gifted him Excalibur. So, uh, there's the back. Very nice. And then we've got three more books. I'll save the best for last. One of the best for last. We have Eye Ripper uh, by Stephen Hunter, uh, based around Jack the Ripper. Uh, I've been a uh, student, a uh, researcher of Jack the Ripper since my freshman year of high school. Uh, we got to do a report on any uh, historical figure, uh, and I naturally gravitated towards Jack the Ripper. So I did that report uh, freshman year of high school for English class. And I've just been researching him ever since. Even eventually, I will come up with my own theory of who Jack the Ripper really was. You know, right now I'm just taking in all the evidence, all the everyone else's theories, comparing them, and trying to decide for myself. There's the back. There's the side. Very nice. Uh, we've also got Scriptures, Sacred Writings of the World's Religions by Arturo Marcelo Pascal. Um... I have been a student of religion for most of my life. <clears throat> I am a Christian. Um, in fact, I'm a United Methodist. But I enjoy learning about all different types of religions around the world. Um, I also enjoy re learning about the lost Gospels, uh, the lost Testaments, the all that that didn't make it into the actual Bible. So this was a nice find for me. It was $5 at Barnes & Noble. Uh, uh, iRipper was about $10. Uh, they were mar both marked down. Very nice. Let's set that over there along with these two. And then finally, one that was marked down quite a bit. Originally priced for $50. Uh, it was then marked down to $18.99. And then finally it was marked down again to about $10 when we were there. The Ultimate Visual History of Ghostbusters. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a huge Ghostbusters fan. Have been all my life. Uh, I was looking through this uh, on the way home from Barnes & Noble. Very nice book. Uh... Can't wait to get into it and read everything. Uh, there's a lot of nice stuff that they included in this. They did not incorporate the 2016 Ghostbusters Answer the Call. Uh, they only incorporated the original franchise. Uh, the original Ghostbusters. Uh, Ghostbusters 2. Um, got some little booklets storyboards for Ghostbusters. Uh, they also included the real Ghostbusters and Extreme Ghostbusters as well as Ghostbusters video game. Got some nice stuff there. Some behind the scenes pictures. Very nice. Some sketches for different kinds of ghosts. Um, preview card. 
Here's some pictures for the poster. Let's see here, Ghostbusters 2. They even had, here we go, slime thrower um, meant to go into a projector. Concept art for Slimer. Very nice stuff. They had some stills, um, still frames and whatnot from the real Ghostbusters. Let's see if I can find it right there. Very nice. So, yeah, uh, here's the back of it. Let you guys take a look at that. Really enjoyed this book haul. Had a great birthday. Managed to pick up a lot of books. Uh, I can't wait to start reading them. As I said, I'm starting off on the autobiography of Jean-Luc Picard. And then I'll work my way from there. So anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. And hope you'll tune in again next time when we take a look at a video game haul. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.